It is one of the happiest nights of a young person's life, high school graduation. So why are so many parents at Holt and Tuscaloosa County High Schools upset? WVUA 23's Madison McLean was at Tuscaloosa County High's graduation tonight, and she joins us live with more. Madison, why are parents upset? Well, Tamika, Holt High School parents say they were left in the dark, and Tuscaloosa County High parents say there just wasn't enough room. Why would you turn lights off at 9 o'clock on something so important to so many students? That's what one graduation goer is saying after the lights were shut off on the Holt High School football field after the ceremony Thursday. Erica Gardner says there were nearly 400 people on the field taking pictures and celebrating with graduates when the lights were shut off just 20 minutes after the ceremony, leaving people standing around in the dark with no explanation. I mean, this is their biggest achievement of their life this far, and now the administrators and the principal have belittled it and rushed it. Tuscaloosa County High School moved their graduation ceremony into the gym in case of bad weather, but the change in location limited families to only five tickets. Holly Thacker came all the way from Ohio to see her nephew graduate, only to be turned away at the door. Well, it's disappointing, especially since it's a gorgeous day. You think they could have like had alternate plans to have it outside or at least set up closed circuit TVs for other people to watch. It's a big deal, you know, to graduate. Elena Spencer did not have a ticket for her five year old daughter and was forced to leave both her children outside. When it with my daughter, they told me she could not come in because she was not two or under and she's only five. So she has to wait out here with my other son who couldn't attend his brother's graduation because we had family from out of town. Not to mention the two people that decided not to come that are at my house because they couldn't get a ticket. Tuscaloosa County School Superintendent Dr. Walter Davey released a statement today saying the system has limited options when it comes to bad weather and it's disappointing to limit attendance. Reporting live in the studio, Madison McLean, WVUA 23 News.